Now, what I'm going to do now is going to go through a practical example of what an Islamic derivative transaction is. So, this is where I stop talking for a bit and you answer questions. Okay, this is a conventional interest rate swap. What are the cash flows on this? What are you doing in a conventional interest rate swap? What do you do? How, anyone, hands up. Right, so you are basically exchanging a fixed to floating payment and it's relative to a notional amount, right? That's what, a fi what, that's what an interest rate swap is. Now, all Islamic institutions need interest rate swaps. They have real assets and liability mismatches. They have to have what we call in the Islamic world a profit rate swap. How do we do this? This is how you do it. This is a Sharia compliant profit rate swap. What you do is a floating rate payer goes out into the market and let's say buys LME traded metals at cost price. It then delivers those commodities to a fixed rate payer for cost price plus profit portion under a murabaha. The fixed rate payer gets the assets on day one and agrees, let's say this is a one year swap, to pay the floating rate payer every three months cost price plus profit portion. So it's a four payments, cost price plus profit portion every three months. Profit portion is fixed. We know what this is at this moment. We're now going to do the second leg of the swap. Fixed rate payer has a bunch of commodities. It's going to monetize those by selling them to a supplier. Note, the supplier two is different to supplier one. So you may have a dawny day on one side and a condor on the other side. The fixed rate payer monetizes those commodities and puts the money into a collateral account. So it's got cash. The fixed rate payer is now going to enter into a reverse murabaha. But this time, he's not going to enter into one murabaha. He's going to enter into a series of murabahas. Now, we have a one-year swap. And he's going to enter into four swaps of three months maturity. At each maturity date, is going to match up with the settlement date under the fixed term murabaha. Now, under the reverse murabahas, the fixed rate payer is going to sell commodities back to the floating rate payer, and the floating rate payer is going to pay cost price plus profit portion. But this time, profit portion is going to be linked to LIBOR. You can benchmark LIBOR. There is no problem under Sharia to do this. So if you think of the cash flows, what do we have? We have on the fixed Morabaha every three months, cost price plus fixed profit portion. Under the sequential reverse Morabahas, we have cost price plus profit portion linked to LIBOR. Note, both these payments are due on the same day. You net off the two cost prices, and what do you have? Physical delivery of fixed to floating exactly the same as you have under a conventional interest rate swap. But this is completely Sharia compliant. You can also do this in the following way as well and have a series of sequential marabahas on both sides. Both these structures have had fatwas and both of them are active in the GCC and in Malaysia. But this is exactly how amazing this Islamic derivatives they are. People think they're very simple products, they're not. When you structure these products, you need to understand what the conventional derivative cash flows are. And then you use Islamic products like Arbun, Murabaha, Wad, Salam, and you put them together like Lego to replicate these cash flows, but in a Sharia compliant manner.